Hi, this is Preston Sandlin uh, with Home Inspection Carolina, and today I'm in a garage, kind of a messy garage. It's my own, um, and of course there's a ambulance the second I try to uh, film. But uh, what I want to talk to you about today is whenever you have a garage in a living area, uh, I have a living area next door to the house, I, uh, next door to the garage, I'm sorry. I have a living area above my garage, um, it's actually my daughter's bedroom, and there's a living area here that's kind of an office. So you must have and maintain fire separation, and by that you've got to have um, gypsum or drywall. So uh, And it has to be continuous, there can't be any gaps or anything like that. Um, obviously the uh, vent for the flue pipe that's allowable but what you're trying to do is give a fire rating so if there was a fire that started in the garage it wouldn't spread quickly um, to the rest of the house so it has to be drywall between um, the garage and the uh, living area now that wall over there behind all that mess um, is actually uh, drywall but it doesn't actually have to be there because there isn't a living area there um, actually, I'm sorry, it does because there's a living area above it, but a lot of times if there's just a perimeter wall, it wouldn't have to be drywall. Now, also, if there's a ceiling, it has to be a Type X drywall, which um, lasts a little bit longer. And I'll show you a, a little picture of that. Um, I don't have any with me, but uh, you can see here that this is a Type X drywall. That's a picture of it. Another thing to be wary of in garages is pull down stairs. A lot of times they'll put a pull down stairs and it'll have a uh, thin plywood. You can't do that because you're breaking the fire barrier. So again, you need fire separation uh, with drywall or gypsum board between the garage and the living areas. This is Preston Sandler from Inspection Carolina. Thanks a lot.